I'm in a place where I have many friends at apartment housing. I learn from them and I'm encouraged by them. Today, I want to take a few minutes to express my thanks and to express my prayer for every single person listening. I learned from my friends to remain patient in the hardest of times. They often make the most of the things and opportunities they have, which can be done in very creative and original ways. Our lives do not need to be filled with expensive items to have joy, especially when we distinguish between necessities and luxuries. I know that some of them have rich faith. Instead of being defeated by difficult circumstances, they know how to actively trust God for their needs. They know that they are in need of redemption. And that is always an encouragement to my own Christian faith. I think of my friends when I read Ephesians 1, 15 and 16, which says this, For this reason, ever since I heard about the faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I just want to take a few moments to express my thanks for each of you. There's a grandmother who worked tirelessly to keep her family from being on the streets homeless. The same grandmother that requested a large print Bible and openly expressed the many challenges of her life. When she says, thank you for everything, it means a lot. And then there's a lady who works late into the night to provide for her family. She has made ends meet without complaint and then brings beauty into her home by displaying my wife's paintings. When she and the family were recently forced to move, it was a joy to hear that they had found a much better place nearby. And when a friend told me that he had stopped drinking, we had to celebrate, even if it was only with a dozen donuts and a card. That's a good step forward, I said. The next step is getting into a church so that you can be fed spiritually. Nothing came into my life that was good until you came along, he told me. I am thankful for the many of you who are a big part of our lives. Now, let me also share my prayer for you. I want the very best possible for you in this life and the next. So my prayer is for something eternal and enduring. Let's continue with Ephesians 1, verses 17 through 19. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints and his incomparable great power for us who believe. I pray that you have the spirit of wisdom and revelation. That means I want you to have insight into the true nature of things. I want you to understand the things of God more fully and completely so that you may realize how all important it is to know God better. Our boast is not in our intelligence, our strength, or our riches. It's that we have understanding to personally know the Lord. There are some little practices that help you move in that direction. Say thanks before your meals. Read a few verses in your Bible and give some thought to what you're reading. Or say a prayer when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed at night. I pray that the core of your being, your heart be enlightened so that you may realize how great is the hope he is calling you to have. And hope in the Bible is the absolute certainty of God at work. 
I want you to live in certainty of the glorious inheritance of redemption when we and all creation are made completely right. Also, so that you may realize God's unlimited power is active in each of us who believe. This is the same mighty power he used to raise Christ from the dead and gave him a place of supreme honor in heaven and placed all power and dominion under his feet. Which brings us to our key spiritual insight. We have the divine guarantee of a glorious way of life as Christ's followers. God has caused our path to cross for a reason. And for that, I am thankful. I pray for you to know the Lord personally through faith, to live a life filled with hope, to realize God's active power within. It gives me joy to know that you are walking in these truths. And those, my friends, are words of hope.